Hello friends. Last week I showed how to set up and use the new auto lip sync feature in OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. And the initial results weren't perfect, but it was a good start to getting the mouth shapes in the right place. But today I want to show you a simple tip that will improve these results, possibly leading to lip sync that needs no manual editing. So I've got the same scene here with the initial lip sync showing. Let me just play that. Hi. I made macaroni if you want some. And as you can see, the mouth doesn't quite follow the last part of the audio. And this is because Rhubarb, the library behind the encoding, can't recognize the words. And probably because of the accent. But in your audio, it could be because your audio is part of a crowd scene or there's some other background noise getting in the way. So what we can do is to tell Rhubarb what words are in the audio and then it can encode the mouth shapes much better. So as we did last week, just go to the first frame. Let's hide the last week's mouth shapes. Right click and from the lip sync menu, choose apply auto lip sync to column. And then you'll get to see this dialog. And as before, choose the audio source from the drop down at the top, choose your mouth shapes here. But the tip that'll make all the difference is to paste your script into the box at the top of this dialog here. And then when you hit apply, Rhubarb now knows exactly what text your character is trying to say and will then find better mouth shapes to put onto the timeline. And if we compare the two, so the top column here, auto with text, is the new set of mouth shapes. And it starts off with exactly the same mouth shapes, but later you see many more differences compared to the previous auto selection. So let's just see how that looks. Hi. I made macaroni if you want some. Much, much better. And you still might want to edit these manually to better express your character's personality, but it's definitely much better. So do give it a go yourself. And if you want to examine the lip sync feature further, then you'll find this project available for download for my patrons on my Patreon page. Available from up there shortly. So do check that out. And thank you to all my patrons on Patreon, especially Maria and Robert. And if you do want to learn more about lip sync, then this next video will be exactly what you need. So do take a look at that. So I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.